All right, so I'm just gonna try to pick up right where I left off. I wrote some notes here and I don't want to get off track. So, um, I wanted to just kind of briefly share what I've been doing. And it's really simple what I've been doing, but it's working so far for me. So, since they want to disconnect and cause disassociation, that's what all of this is for. This trauma-based mind control, it causes disassociation. But let's just say disconnect for right now. So what I do to rewire the mind, my mind, or reconnect the mind, my mind, to or with the body, my body, after this abuse, this trauma-based mind control, or this radiation poisoning, <clears throat> by exercising, it rehabs, it's rehabbing, so the rehabbing is actually forcing my brain, kind of retraining my brain to rehab the mind through the body so it works from the bottom up and then it goes from the top back down so what i want to do is reconnect and heal that disassociation and i do this with exercise and this rehabs my mind so i want to rehab the mind through the body and then heal or reconnect that from that disassociation, that sickly risk reward inducing toxicity or radiation poisoning by just doing some breathing exercises, some light meditation and yoga, and some exercise, physical exercise. And then in addition to doing that or while doing that, what I do is I write a checklist off for each set or each rep and when you're doing this consistently with time, it'll get into the subconscious mind and you'll be doing this um, without even having to think about it. So you'll be able to retrain or rehab, like I said, rewire the mind back to the body and heal that sickly uh, risk reward inducing toxicity or that disassociation, that mental illness quote-unquote mental illness okay this is the most effective therapy that i've ever tried and so i really i highly recommend this for uh trauma patients and for targeted individuals and um and just for in general <clears throat> and so also too with the trauma-based mind control it is really taking that extra step these um this counterculture is taking that extra step these gang stalkers to shatter your confidence and um it's promoting this risk reward behavior and this disassociation in my male partner as well doing the same thing uh using sexual exploitation and sexual coercion and um this future faking dark psychology and, and, and other, you know, triangulation and other things as, as well the, with, with the mirroring and, and, and other tons of other military tax, tactics as well. But what I was saying was um, for me in order to really, in order to promote mental clarity, so in order to have or obtain some sort of peace of mind, I have to force my body to relax. And this is how I do it. In addition to that, I try to retrain my brain um, with that discipline of that exercise. So when I write something down and then I have to work for it, work hard for it with that exercise, then I check it off. And it's, um, it's actually just really healthy. And so then it promotes... Um, that same thing, that, that, that little, uh, cycle or that little, it's not a ritual, but 
you know what I mean, that little therapy will, will then start to take form and manifest naturally over time. It'll become something that I do without thinking about. And so, um, and so that's how I try to heal that quote unquote disassociation or that, that mental illness. So, um, this all really is relevant because this brings me to kind of like what I was getting ready to say. Um, and this is going to be kind of all over the place, but I'll try to stick to the point here. When Jerron was going to the gym a year ago, and he said that all he was doing was going to the gym, and that supposedly was supposed to be enough to make me mad enough to snap on him. So first of all, that doesn't even make any sense. So I want to rehash this because this is how they're going about putting dirt on my name so they can try to control what I'm saying and, and discredit what I'm saying by calling me crazy. So they absolutely orchestrated the detaining of me in a psych ward. This was orchestrated. And so exactly how the handbook says... And I discuss this on my program so that I can help other up and coming artists or other targeted individuals or other trafficked women. So I'm not uh, trying to trigger anybody. I don't want to rehash old stuff. I'm discussing this now so that I can help others. So I want you to pay attention to something though with all that I've shared today. Um. I'm going back to um, February of last year on the 4th when I was illegally detained and medically and chemically restrained. <clears throat> At the time, in this context, he was just going to the gym. And that was enough to make me supposedly jealous enough to try to lash out at him. First of all, Jerron is 300 pounds. He is no victim. He is no victim. And what kind of context is that? Because logically, Jerron does not have a body that I would be jealous of. So why would I be jealous if he were just going to the gym? Why would I be so jealous that I would have to lash out at him like that? The truth is, I wouldn't. I'm not, and something else is going on here. And I'm going to describe this second narrative, and I'm going to do this narrative exposure therapy in a different context and in a different light so that you can get a kind of better understanding of what is really going on in this family system in the, and in this unit and how this counterculture is um, using this psyop and this deprivation to control him to create disassociation and to punish and basically blackmail and torture myself um so hold on just a second.